Hey guys, I haven't filmed uh, an update on Project Pico in some uh, time, so I just wanted to film a quick update so you guys see what's going on in there. So this was an aquarium that crashed about three months ago due to a uh, unexpected heat wave on the east coast. I pretty much lost all the livestock in this uh, particular tank and um, I brought it back to life. I had some problems with algae the last time I uploaded a video on this I think and um, so what I've done is I've actually um, added the small green mean green machine I think it's called uh, what it is it's a UV light with a filter and man that thing's done wonders on this uh, Pico aquarium uh, I no longer struggle with algae um, it's totally under control and um, you know the water uh, stays nice and healthy so you know one of the things I'm working on is I'm going to be transitioning all three of my uh, nano slash pico projects into one project um, I don't want to give too many details away yet but this tank is eventually gonna um, be retired uh, Project Pico will be retired as well as Project Nano and um, it will be combined into uh, my next nano project so you know please subscribe to um, both Sean's Aquaria and actually um, Seaquaria because eventually Seaquaria will be the home of all my reef keeping videos so I'm going to be transitioning away from Sean's Aquaria uh, once I get the subscription uh, count all the way back up on um, Seaquaria. So if you haven't subscribed to that channel, please uh, take a moment to subscribe now. I'll go ahead and uh, put a link in the, in the videos that I'm uploading uh, to make it easy for you. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the... Um, daylight on so you guys can see what's in uh, Project Pico right now. You can might you might be able to see something moving around in there. So let me show you what it is. So um, as you can see I've got a uh, gold gold bodied coral banded shrimp. I've also got um, some Nasaria snails. I've got one actually in here. I've got some Astria snails. I've got some hermit crabs. There's some empty shells here in case they want to um, move into a bigger shell. So I just threw some empty shells in there for them. Uh, you can see the um, green machine sitting right there and it fits really nice in this aquarium. Um, it's sitting right behind the rock real nice and it's able to uh, push the water uh, towards the uh, entrance of the AIO uh, filtration system. I'll lift the lid up so you guys can take a better look at that. Let's see if I can get the lid off. I've got the wires running through it so it's a little bit more difficult to get the light off I'm sorry get the uh, lid off without taking the light off so um, you guys can see where the water is being pumped into uh, the filtration system I've got filter floss back there I still have the in-tank media shelf I've got the um, the Hyder Pico um, pump that's pumping 180 GPH in this particular project uh, you can see that uh, this aquarium does get some salt creep at the top that's pretty uh, prevalent on this one. Um, one of the reasons I want to transition out of here is, um, you know, I'm just trying to really cut down to one um, display aquarium in my bedroom. Right now I have three and it's three times the work to keep these things clean. Uh, with these uh, smaller aquariums, they do um, require a lot of maintenance. So I'm just trying to get away from that. 
and um, I'm taking parts of all three and transitioning them uh, into uh, my new project. So uh, please stay, stay tuned on that. And, um, you know, another reason I want to get away from um, this aquarium is I noticed that it's very susceptible to uh, temperature changes um, being that it's in the upstairs part of the house. So, you know, in the summertime, it gets up to like 80 or 90 degrees um, if I don't have the air conditioner running. And, you know, I'm very fearful to um, have a repeat of what happened uh, in February um, where, you know, I come home and find everything dead uh, because the, the tank overheated. So, um, you know, with 2.6 gallons um, in an upstairs bedroom, it's probably not the most stable. Uh, place to to keep a pico tank so you know I've thought about moving it down to the kitchen um, I have some other ideas I've been thinking about giving it to my mom um, to see if she wants to play with some uh, saltwater aquarium you know I'd probably put you know a couple clown gobies back in there so she has some sort of livestock uh, other than the um, coral banded shrimp and then you know um, I've also thought about uh, giving it away as a subscription contest. So, you know, maybe I'll throw a poll out there and uh, see what you guys think. Um, but that's a uh, update on Project Pico. It's been doing very well. Uh, I hardly have to do any maintenance on it as far as uh, controlling the algae. Uh, you could see that there's a, um, a snail. I think that's an astrea snail that's on the glass right now. And, um, you know, it's become a very stable aquarium. So of the three in my bedroom, it's actually the most stable right now. Other than uh, the susceptibility to change um, the temperatures. And I'm not going to bother putting a chiller on an aquarium of this magnitude. It's just not worth it to me. So, you know, that's, that's really wanna, why I want to get away from it. Uh, just to, you know not risk uh, the livestock because it broke my heart when I came in and found uh, all the livestock dead the last time. So that's it on Project Pico. Um, please subscribe to uh, Sequaria uh, where all my uh, reef keeping videos will be posted in the future. Uh, Sequaria, I'll post a link to, uh, to make it easy for you to subscribe. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, Look for uh, more information on my newest project. Thanks for watching, guys.